Okay, now, now, let's go. All right, we are back here with Specific Gravity and uh, a couple more things to talk about. Uh, a, the water levels down in each one of these, it may be hard to see on the camera, but uh, we- Hey, I'll see some water. All right, we keep them at a general level, uh, a little bit down. You can see there's plastic that goes down about an inch on the inside of these holes, and we, we wanna keep it below the bottom of this plastic. If it gets too high, uh, when this is gaining energy from the sun, they bubble, and if it's above that, it causes problems because it can't come out to the uh, vented caps. So we can't fill it too high. Also, if it gets too low, on the inside, there's all these plates. They look like pieces of cardboard on their edge, and uh, if any of those are exposed, that's really bad for our batteries. It will uh, reduce the life of the battery, and that's when we use the graduated cylinder and we add uh, distilled water. We add distilled water to it to uh, bring it back up to a acceptable level. Um, we try to keep it at a solid level that's uh, about right. Usually when we're doing this, uh, before we do the equalization, we'll make sure that the batteries are all good. Um, another thing is when you're uh, putting the liquid into the... This, you don't want to do too much liquid and you want to try to do about the same every time you take a reading. Um, if you took too much liquid, this will float too high and actually get stuck and give you an incorrect reading, which uh, we found out through trial and error. But uh, so that is, that covers pretty much the things to do with uh, the water levels and, or liquid levels, liquid acid, lead acid. And uh, I think that's it for our specific gravity instructional video instructional video sure all right see you guys later